from one star high school prospect to walk on quarterback at Boise State to now a Heisman contender in 99 overall. That's right. We have been dialing in at practice, doing all the right things in the gym and watching film so we can minimize our mistakes this upcoming season. 57 overall and rated the worst quarterback in college football feels like a distant memory. Now we can make the Mountain West our playground this season. U of A beat us in the Las Vegas Bowl and thanks to our sloppy performance at quarterback, we cost our team the bowl game. That cannot and will not be the case this year. In fact, preseason ranked number 24, Boise State has bigger fish to fry than the Las Vegas Bowl. We want that New Year's Six and a national championship. Rumor has it a successful campaign this season could spell the end of King Sponge's collegiate career as the NFL draft will surely be calling. A little preseason practice with the first teamers here at Boise State. I noticed no capels and a lot of familiar names are gone, so we're dealing with pretty much a new receiving core taking the reign. Thankfully, we got Gen T in his final season here holding it down for us in the backfield. And if you noticed anything about last episode, Austin Bolt was a clear favorite target of mine. I don't see him out here. Our friend very well could have graduated, but that's going to force us to look for a new receiver to be our number one. No one could ever replace my sweet, sweet Bolt. I'm sure going to miss him. Fresh looking squad out here. Is this what it takes to win it all? Merriweather, you're going to have to be a big piece, and that touchdown looks good to me. Before we jump into the first game, it's only fitting we get Chick Magnet to upgrade our throw power to 96. Currently, we're the field general, and we're halfway to household name. Nothing like starting the season out with a bang rivalry game against BYU. We're 22nd in the nation. They're 23rd. Whatever you got to say about BYU, that's fine, but this stadium is going to look insane in the next-gen video game. You got to get a sneak peek in practice, but these are the receivers that we're working with, and they're going to have to become championship caliber receivers, as I just, what am I doing? Operation Throw Less Ints is not starting out too successful. We give up one right off the rip in our opening drive. Go ahead and place your bets down below in the comment section. How many ints will I throw in this year of Road to Glory? Julius Walter's already stepping up as a prime candidate for me in this drive he's just cruising right down within the red zone looking to score we got some legs let's use them getting around the defender that was filthy with some next level agility right here on this run i don't know where the defender was going yes we need to be mindful of where we're throwing the ball but you should see far less noodle throws as i call them second and short just about at the five all we need is something quick here something easy go into the back of the end zone no-brainer, Merriweather. Zamandre, the big six. You can tell just the poise, the calmness under pressure. It's just different this year. Already got Julius up over 100 yards. Love to see that. On the run, we're going to hit Julius Walters once more. He is becoming the next Austin Bolt, but Bolt would never fumble like that. Thankfully, we pounce back on top of it, and now it's first and goal, and that's Julius again. What a machine. King Sponge and Julius Walters just on another level in week one. Julius over the middle. He's so open. Rip. Play action. Thankfully, we get another chance. We're going to throw it. All right. Now I'm just curious. What Heisman winner threw the most amount of interceptions out of any Heisman candidate ever? As Beersford all the way down the field. Second and 10 in the red zone. I'm ready for that curl flat, and so is Merriweather. BYU scores late in the fourth here. Really just need to close it out with the first down. Third and four, coach is letting us take to the air. We need the first down so we can get on out of here scot-free. And I throw a pick. I don't even know where I was looking. I was looking at the other side of the field. Wow, crisis averted. We still get and take a knee and end this game, but now we have three ends on the young season. Seriously? Getting a dub against a ranked BYU team on the road is always no small feat. Not exactly a Heisman starts the year, so maybe Dynamic Banks and this temporary boost to 99 overall throw power will do the trick. We'll need it as we're taking on the Huskies at our home turf. Dropping back, we got a man. I see you, Penry. Come through for me. I'm gonna need to calm down. Something about playing on the blue field just gets me so excited. Let's ride. Bronco Nation, Beersford, is that your tight end? It don't matter if it's UW, Alabama, Ohio State. I don't care who's in front of us. We're going to get this dub. Touchdown. Threading the needle of Penry, baby. What a needle threading job right there. Booyah. Second and seven, tight end cross. Some pressure coming in. Lobbing one up. I don't know what just happened to cross in the middle of the field. They got tangled up and we can't even tackle them. I take the blame for this one, but look at the middle of the field. But what is this in the middle of the field? all of them tangled up here and we had the step the guy was facing the wrong way head 
head turned the wrong direction. In theory, Terry here should be breaking free. Nope, we just ram him in the butt. Our gameplay right now is a Colossus flop, just like that billboard sign I'm running straight ahead at, Colossus. Well, an injury knocked me out for the rest of the third quarter, so I'm here in the fourth quarter looking to finally lead the Broncos to the promised land. I feel like in theory, we have the time to do it. It's just a matter of, are we gonna do it? And Banks says, this is my last chance you wash Washington has made me uh, one of their choice words. It's gonna take a miracle and a lot of french fries to make something happen. And Beers Ford, thankfully, keeps the tribe alive. First and 10, coach has full four verticals here, full on in the red zone, bro. I don't know about that. That's crazy, but we do get a guy open. Turn around and make a play, son. Knock, knock, who's there? Opportunity, and you blew it. Prince, though, you might have a chance. Oh, that was such an inaccurate pass. Fourth and four, the game literally comes down to this play. So nothing left here to lose. And what was that pass? Where was it going? Sugma, man. Sugma. That has got to be one of the most atrocious performances I've had in a while. It's really a darn shame how that game turned out against UW, man, because now we're going to have to beg and plead the college football committee to let us in. Outside of UW, there isn't anyone really to give us a run for the money. And Williams, dude, I'm having one of the worst first halves of collegiate football ever. What a step back. Thankfully, Air Force is 0-2, and they're not going to be able to hurt us as much as a team like UW would. As Julius Walters, my main man, welcome back to stardom, my friend. Inside cross on second and 10. I'm going to look over the middle here. Perfect. Julius Walters is that guy, pal. Back to the regularly scheduled routine of domination. Boy, wouldn't have this been fun against UW, that's for sure. It literally just feels so unfair how much of a cheat code this is. We're dominating, and it's not even close. 346 passing yards and four touchdowns in the first half. We're not done yet. We want more. And he's wide open. Julius Walters, have a day. Defense pitching a shutout against the Falcons, and that's a big reason why pressure is so good. I got taken off the field in this one as we win 51 to 7. After beating down Air Force 51 to 7, what FCF school wants to see us next? I don't know. What do you guys think? Safe to say FCS is fairly outmatched in this one? I'd say so. King's Punch just going to zip his way through all the way down the red zone. Go ahead and drop your final score predictions down below. I think it's going to be 42-3. All right, I got the three point right, but we're only up by 16 against FCS South. And I just throw another costly pick, dude. Gag me with a spoon. All right, I need to prove I can do more than just throw picks. So I'm just going to launch one up. Let's see if our receiver can go and get it. Julius, I knew I could count on you. When in doubt, just air it out. That's what I always say, and it works pretty good more often than not. Or just use your legs and be a hey, maestro. When I like getting extra aggressive with the ball, that's why I try to go to the sideline, just so I have leg room to fumble. Let's go ahead and set the home fans happy on this one with a touchdown as a topper. Nothing short of easy 33-3 victory royale. The path to redemption continues going up against the winless Rams. Kicking off the game with an old read option usually works like that. That is the result I'd like to see. Sprinting down the sideline with a nifty juke, finishing it off for 30. Let's ride, baby. Let's ride. Let's run the triple option. I don't know why I flicked it. That was the one time I should have kept it. And now I'm forced to track this man down. I have to make the tackle. Play little DB. Come on. Get him, 36, dive, nothing. Okay, I'm like Josh Allen of the Bills, man. It, game's not complete without turning the ball over at least once, maybe twice. Kurt Benkart, I need you to save me, Kurt. Got a couple open guys. I could just take it myself. I'm tired, but even while I'm winded, I bring it in. As they say, feet don't fail me now because my arm is failing me. Scramble out again. Like I said, feet don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, shoot. 150 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown from the QB position in this one. And I got open Terry. Why not just take it? Engaged in a battle with the winless Rams. Doesn't go far for the committee. Barring the fact that we actually get to that point, they're going to look at our whole body of work and say, heck to the nah. Just going to keep it myself with the legs as we do. And I lose the ball again. You guys have probably been screaming at me in the comment section telling me to slide and to get down when I'm running. I had to record this up in advance because I'm going to be out for a week. 
by the time you're seeing this. So I apologize if uh, you all have been telling me to slide. But hey, check it out. No harm, no foul. Victory formation. We get the win. This one's going to be fun. Boise State traveling to North Carolina. It don't matter where the boys go. I think this offense is ready to cook. And I don't know why he just ran out of bounds. So now I can't even use him. Favorable field position gets us right down to the goal line. Easy plunge. Second and 20. Nothing a read option can't fix. As we get around the corner, no one to stop us. It's nothing but green grass touchdown seems like the Tar Heels want a fight in this one as they're already back in it with another touchdown of their own Julius Walters lays out fourth and ten coach says go for it of course and we do drop it off to Merriweather big first down second and ten play action yep I see you tight end Dawson touchdown Tar Heels clearly not backing down from a shootout so uh, that's good to know down by three we don't want this one getting out of hand and well, speaking out of hand, we're down by 10, but that quick strike to Terry is money. Cash in right here before the fourth quarter makes this a brand new ball game. And Hardy says, I think not. There's your classic pick. We do it like this and the defense does it right back. We got the ball back. So time to shake, shake, shake it. First and goal, quick strike needed. There's the slant, Walters. Touchdown. The defense bent, but it did not break as they gave up a field goal, which is A-OK -okay in my book. Oh, what a catch. Flag on this is holding. It's coming back. Seven straight completions. Absolutely clutch right now. And speak of clutch, well, Allen, Tar Heels, that's clutch. And I am down for the count. Knocked me out of the game and out of this one. Unfortunate reality of our situation sinking in here is that we're probably back to competing for another Las Vegas Bowl. Man, low-key, this Broncos team doesn't feel like we're all that this year. I mean, we had a better squad last year at this rate. All tied up against the Wyoming Cowboys, but no fear, because I can be your hero, baby. Well, I'll be darn. OT football against the Wyoming Cowboys. One play one touchdown one play is all we needed in overtime as defense gets the hold 21st ranked aggies 90 overall just like us this is intriguing 14 14 battle against the ranked aggies i got a wide open walters see across my body i think he looks open to me yes sir utah state ranked and showing a little mojo for a reason here they're up by a touchdown first down and a fumble every game feeling like a nail biter at this point nothing convincing that's a convincing touchdown though defense putting the ball in my hands with just one more drive that's all we need for three all we got left is 40 seconds dumping it out to merriweather making some catches we're just about in field goal range at this point but why settle for just three when you can go for it all honestly i'm confident with our boys that i'm letting some clock chew just a smidge all right smidge over now i'm scrambling and this is why i don't let it smidge all the way because i just got dropped and i'm gonna need to hurry up thankfully still got time for another play let's hurry it up and snapping it and throwing touchdown terry with no time left for the win, Boise State comes into Utah, squeaks one out against the Aggies. That was clutch. G to the G. Back in the AP Top 25, going up against the winless Rebels. Does anyone know how to fix this black field bug? It has been plaguing my game now for like the last month. It didn't used to be a problem, but now it is. So because of that, we're going to let the computer cook. I don't think the black turf is doing UNLV any favors as they're winless on the season. And uh, the computer so far slightly in Boise's favor, but all it takes is a quick touchdown. And now nah, that's going to be out of reach. Yeah, this game's out of reach here. Boise State wins. Going up against the Lobos next on the blue field. Snowy one in Boise, and this is really our first test against the elements. Play action man in motion. See if we can get something off here. Rain, snow, shine. I think we got it. Looking to strike. I think he's got plenty of separation for that. Snow is falling down. Genty is back. Love to see that. We sure missed him in the absence there, but Terry is so open. Safe to say the snow isn't doing a thing to stop us. Absolute decisive victory here. Even the backups came in. Hawaii makes the trek out to Boise to face us on the blue. It has been a snowy two weeks. This is not deja vu. We are in back-to-back -back snow games. You know, I'd like to think we have the upper hand in snow games because Hawaii, well, it doesn't even snow out there. Have some of these guys even seen snow? 
wasting no time out here to dot these guys up this is not much of a competition what competition is this easy mode scrambling out just trying to make something happen with the legs good enough for a first down oh yeah what a bait dude he he bit in then went back and picked it i fell for the trap six seconds out of timeouts we got the boys down here is it enough to score though randolph ruins my day dropping back why not let it fly across the middle that's beersford keeping things a little too close for comfort against hawaii in a snow game it makes no sense prince get us ahead as much as hawaii scratched and clawed their way back in it it was all ogre another victory on the blue in the snow so far perfect in the mountain west we got one final test with san jose man oh man what could have been this year if all we did was win our non-conference matchups against north carolina and washington because the mountain west is ours as per usual i'm not too worried about it let's let Genty plunge this one in for an easy six maybe san jose state was listening to me talk smack and so they went and scored a touchdown i got a question why are we down to san jose right now let's fix this i know i could get some interest in the draft but what's holding me back is just that unfinished business that national championship that looms that NFL bag is for real though, as it would easily change my life and 10X what I'm making currently just from the NIL deals I signed up for. What a run. Oh my goodness, bouncing off defenders. Can we go all the way? This is insanity. Right before half we strike, bouncing off the opposition, swerving in and out. It was off to the races from there. King Sponge ties this up. Should I stay in college just one more year or go to the NFL? The choice is entirely in your hands for those of you that are watching. Let me know what you want to see another season of Boise State football, or are we taking our play to the next level? Not my words, but EA's nut up or shut up weekend. We're looking for a two-peat wanting to bring the Mountain West trophy home to Boise and wow we're starting under some pressure down by a touchdown already the defense gave one up but that's okay because we're driving into the red zone looking to top this drive off with a big score pressure inbound as per usual nothing we can't scramble out of that was a big time championship game scramble and touchdown pass as no state resilient on offense scoring once more so it's making it extra hard for us to stay up Two minute drill, but who needs two minutes when you can do the dang thing right here, right now? Terry, goal line. Second and goal. We're gonna scramble out to our right. I think we got this one with the legs, bingo. B-I-N-G-O, defense was the name-o. Defense big time, offense big time. Not much time left in this one, but why not score again? Just out here throwing lasers all for naught because Fresno State was easily able to score back. As anticipated, this Mountain West Championship game has lived up to the hype, and it's been a tight one. Oh my gosh, breaking ankles, making them fall over. Unreal parting of the sea on this spin move. Oof, filthy. Sent them both to the gulag on that one. One does not simply break ankles without finishing with six. That's what we're going to do. Fourth quarter play might be able to get the icing on the cake if I can just find an open receiver and he sneaks in behind all the defenders. That last touchdown I threw to Penry was the difference as Fresno State came storming back on offense. And the Mountain West Championship is headed to Boise State again. We are a championship caliber quarterback. We always believed in ourselves, but it always feels surreal to go from under-recruited, counted out in high school to winning that championship game. Ollie Gordon wins Heisman. Yeah, we are on that list probably because we made way too many turnovers. Just put the finishing touches on my attributes. Let it go up to 99 throw power. And I was wrong. I have a matchup with 11th ranked Virginia Tech in the Capital One Orange Bowl. This is big time. We're wearing all orange in honor of the Capital One Orange Bowl. In the expanded playoff format coming to the new video game, this would be a game that would compete for the winner going on in the 12 team playoff and the loser going home. Had to get taken out the last drive because apparently I got hurt and the drive stalled after that. First and 10, play action, scrambling on the run. What a find in Merriweather. Looking to make some magic happen here in the Orange Bowl. 
No magic on that one. Third and five. Tight end over the middle is open like no other. Who's going to come out here and be my Michael Thomas? I need a slant god. And there he is. Touchdown, Penry. Just like you squeeze a sponge, let's squeeze this bowl game and score another touchdown. Get it? Because you squeeze sponges and you squeeze oranges. It's the Orange Bowl. Boise State in the orange at the Orange Bowl. Getting it done. Just because we're up by a little doesn't mean we have to stop the air raid. On the run, getting one off. Getting a little too friendly with it. <laughs> Got a little silly, and that's going to cost us a pick and another pick. And probably going to lose a lead. Talk about being over the top extra with those last plays. And all the way down to the one, all we got to do is take the easy route. It's burst forward. Defense held, but the best insurance is offense, in my opinion. So let's go cash it up. Love it. Does me dirty. All the fooling around has led me down to this moment. We're down by one in the Orange Bowl. And well over the middle, that's pretty heroic. Johnson with the big Johnson intercepts me. Once again, the story of this one is costly mistakes. Help me hit my goal of 5,000 subscribers before the new game drops. And if only some of you that are watching this hit that subscribe button, it makes a world of difference. If you enjoyed the video, stick around and check out these. They are some certified bangers coming up next.